All right, for the very first episode of Weapons of Bass Destruction, I have the 86 bait Doom Rider Glide. My initial thoughts on this bait is it's absolutely beautiful. For a garage made bait, this is A++ in quality. Just on the first impressions of looking at it, pulling it out of the package. It has all the bells and whistles that you're gonna want out of a premium garage built hard bait. I mean, you got your swivels for your hook hangers. You have the soft fins, 3D eyes, as you'd want on any bait, just so you get that extra realism, depending on the bait. And then in this specific pattern, I mean, how much more realistic can you get? You have an actual printed shad pattern on there by Underground Supply Company. The overall combination on that, that look is just absolutely stunning but that's not even the best part the best part of this bait is the action for its size this bait has an impeccable glide I mean it really gets going real nice and smooth it's what I want out of a glide bait I don't want to have to impart actions on a true glide bait I want to be able to just nice slow crank and I see that bait just gliding real nice. According to my scales, it's two and a half ounces as it comes in the package. It's 7.25 inches from nose to the tip of the tail, 7.25 inches. Now, me personally, this is a great bite size for a lot of fish. Go out there and catch a lot of fish on it is what I'm assuming. I'm sure guys can whack them on it. But my preference, and I've said this to Matt from 86, we need the big boy size. We need the action of this bait for the big dogs, that nine inch, 10 inch size. It's gonna be a big bait. I just think the drawing power that it will have for areas that truly get large gizzard shad, things like that, will just be astounding. Like I said just earlier, the stability and the glide of this bait, really, really, really awesome. For its size, it's gonna be hard to beat. I'm sure there's some guys out there that are fine tuning it, you know, blah, blah, blah. but for its size, this is just perfect. I don't have, other than the uh, maybe get us a bigger size constructive criticism, the only thing I found is that it can be a little bit tumble prone. And, that, and that's just glide baits in general, but it can be a little bit tumble prone, meaning it helicopters in the air. That could be my fault. Maybe I'm not doing the proper cast, but you know, it's this size bait. I'm probably fishing it on an overpowering rod, which is something I should probably discuss right now. I'm typically running extra heavies in the boat. I rarely step it down into like a heavy or a medium heavy. So that's probably overkill for this specific bait. Definitely think for this bait, you can get away with a heavy or medium heavy rod. No problem, swim bait rod. And then also, just reel size, I got on a 300, throw this thing all day on a 200 size reel, probably have that power. It's light enough that I would be totally comfortable fishing it on a 17 pound fluoro, even a 15 pound fluoro. If, and this is me, I don't care about losing the bait so much, I'm worried about getting bits. But if, even if you are concerned with the cost and you're worried about throwing a bait, it's a really light bait and it has a fairly slow sink rate. So you might be able to catch up to it and net that bad boy before it sinks out of range because you snapped it off on your cast. Other than that, I don't know what else to say. It's truly a remarkable little bait. It's really impressed with just this little package and how much is packed into it. The detail, the stability of the bait, the glide, that action, it's just top notch. It, it, I can't say anything else than that. It's just top notch. I'm keeping it as is in the pack, how it would come in the package with the stock hooks. 
I would probably end up switch, switching it up to get a little bit of a lighter hook and maybe a silver or bronze colored hook. I prefer the silver, but I'll take what I can get these days, but that's just me. So this is it out of the package. Truly a remarkable little bait. These are garage built baits, so there's very limited quantities. If you slide on over to the website, his website and they're not available, don't be shocked. These are drop based baits, so you gotta be quick with the trigger and be ready for when they're, when an announcement is made, you gotta be ready. Boom, 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 because there's very limited quantities released in batches. If you can get one though, totally, totally worth it. Such a cool little bait. Anyways, big fan. It's probably obvious in the, the video, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that little bell notification. And yeah, that's it. Until next time. Oh, one thing I should say is when you give it a little bit of grip and stuff, it doesn't really blow out that hard, which is a really cool thing for a glide. It's pretty stable. So in other words, you can actually work it with some rips and it doesn't blow out.